Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another session of Sukambo. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Um, just thank you so much for, for listening and supporting me and, you know, just wanting to get some more positive black voices out there. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Please remain positive with all the negativity that's thrown towards us as black women, women and black men. Remain positive. Keep your head up and never ever let the oppressor put you down so um i want to come in here today and talk about uh mr donald glover childish gambino um i made a tweet yesterday on twitter that's, that's starting to get a lot of buzz um it looks like people don't like uh when black people talk about pro-black issues and i know you're probably like where, where have you been at that's that ain't nothing new for the past four years, I've been popping out babies. So I'm now getting back into the fold of the whole social media thing. So uh, I do apologize if I'm new. So I went on Twitter. It looked like the other day, uh, Childish Gambino and This Is America is trending. If you've been under a rock, you know that Childish Gamb Gambino came out with a video, uh, you know, basically uh, talking about, you know, the issues in, in America. If you look at the video, the visuals, it is clearly talking about a black America culture or black culture in general. Um, African culture and um, I just think it's funny that you know throughout our history as black people we've had so many people want to be for the community but then they're also sleeping white and you can't talk black and sleep white it's just it's just not able to happen you guys um, so basically what I'm gonna do today is I wanted to um, just go on a rant in regards to this whole situation and why you know black people like myself and so many other black men and women out there are not down with this whole fox wake woke movement from these bed bucks and these bed winches <clears throat> we're just not down with the cause you cannot seriously sit here and tell me that you want to be out in public on a podium talking and speaking black but then, then but then turn around and go and hold hands and hug up with a damn asian or a white woman that's not possible you guys and please don't come in my comments and tell me why are you worried about what he's doing and who he's sleeping with. Well, when you sit here and have a show called Atlanta that talks about the plight of black people, when you sit here and make an album that is basically wish washy holding on to the fence talking about black issues, then I have a right to say something about it because I'm a black woman with a black husband with black children. And then also was like, dude, you came out in 2014 talking about black black women don't fit your mold. So I have a right to come in here and say this. And then furthermore, looking at the at the the history of black men who are outspoken about pro-black issues and them laying up with their oppressor, what has that accomplished for us? You know, Harry Belafonte, Sidney Poitier, what has that accomplished for us? So that's why I'm like, you guys got to calm down with this whole, well, you can, why are you worried about what he doing? Well, bitch, why the hell are you worried about what I'm commenting on? Y'all, y'all no child left behind recipients. Y'all, um, I graduated with the diploma case, but no diploma. Y'all got to calm down. Because just because you're able to go to Walmart and buy the SIM card and buy the phone and get a 4G connection to get on Twitter and talk shit, doesn't mean you're talking the right shit. So anyways... Like I said before, 2014, Childish Gambino came out with a video on an interview he did with The Breakfast Club talking about, you know, he's not down with the black woman. He's a, he's a nerd. They're not feeling him. All this other boo ha boo ha boo ha bullshit. I'm not going to uh, play the video because I know, um, I think it's with The Breakfast Club. They're known for taking down copyrighted material, so I don't want to get my video taken down. So I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. Um, next, I want to come back and just show you guys um i got a i got a certified swirler i got a couple of certified swirlers both men and women on my facebook page and this one right here just kind of struck me struck me the wrong way because the excuse that he's giving to go lay with the white woman is is absolutely ridiculous so on the post homie sits up here and say this isn't 100 percent of the time for everyone but for me it was 96 percent of the time my entire life as the weird black dude Y'all niggas stupid, especially in high school and in college. Dang, this brought up a crap a ton of feels. End of the day, love is love. And maybe attracted wasn't the word, but being the geek was not getting you any dicks in hot springs in the late 90s. Dude, first and foremost, okay, you sitting here equating 
your high school life and your college life, with you getting out in the world and going and doing more and seeing more places and being around more people, you're going to equate that to you going up here and with, laying with the Becky? I am six foot two, 250 pounds. I was called fat throughout high school. I had to fight motherfuckers because they were bullying me in high school. Black man to be specific. But in the tender age of 35, am I going to go up here and be like, well, you know, I was picked on in high school by a black man, so I can't date no black man. That's the dumbest, weak ass excuse to go up here and lay with a white person I have ever fucking seen in my life. And then he's like, in Hot Springs. Okay, so Hot Springs is the only place to go find black women? Just like where I'm at. I know I'm not going to date no black person from where I come from. I am from Georgia. I moved to Illinois. I, I met my husband in the middle of Broadway in New York City. Summer, New York City, 2010. That's where I met my husband at. So anybody sitting here saying that, oh my God, I couldn't find nobody in Hot Springs or in Colorado or in Miami. You're lazy and you're giving excuses for going up and laying up with a Becky. And, that, and this is the most dumbest excuse I've ever seen in my life to go lay up with a Becky. So because you were picked on in high school and you were picked on in college. And because a couple of the black girls that you want to go and approach weren't feeling you and called you weird. Now you're going to go lay up with the white person. Like I said before, keep them. Because if that's the mindset that you have as a black man or a black woman, we don't need you in the black community. You're part of the problem. So kick rocks. Crazy. The, the, the excuses they're making in his comic section, section is filled with enablers. En enablers. Filled with it. Crazy. And then people are just sitting up there saying, well, you know, the, the woman Donald Glover is dating, she's an Asian, she's an Asian. Okay, and that's supposed to mean what? Asians can be coons too, motherfuckers. Asians can be coons too. And while we're sitting here talking about Asians, let's go over here and talk about how in Uganda, the Ugandan government is worried about Chinese men marrying their women. Since y'all want to be like, she Asian. She cool, she Asian. Well, let's talk about all these Asian men that done ran over here in, in Uganda. Why are they in Uganda in the first place, you guys, huh? Why are Chinese people in Uganda in the first place? So y'all want to be on this? Well, she Asian, she Asian. Okay, well, you tell me about these Asian niggas right here. You tell me about these Asian motherfuckers right here running, they, slinging their dick in Uganda getting the Ugandan women pregnant and then running back to their home country with all that wealth they've accumulated in Uganda and marrying a damn Chinese woman and putting that wealth back into their community. Oh, but she's Asian though. So like I said before, guys, I'm not going to keep you on to on this subject. I'm not going to really waste my time on this. Um, it's just funny that the, that the excuses that black folks are giving in regards to going up and landing with the oppressor. It is crazy. The excuses that y'all are giving yourselves. Well, I was picked on in high school, so that's why I'm going to live with a white, white man or the white woman. Well, you know, I tried to date this one white black girl, and she told me I was weird and gay, so I'm, I'm not going to mess with black chicks no more. Really? That's your logic? That's your logic? Okay, well, like I said before, kick rocks. We don't need you. Hold your own nuts, and have a great day. And when you, too, get your wake-up call at the Waffle House, don't come haul at us. And when you two get your wake up call at the Starbucks, don't come haul at us. And when you two get your wake up call at your white folks cookout, while they in the corner ear hustling and talking about your ass and calling you a nigger, don't come haul at us. Cause this is black cold one. This is part of the black cold one on one education series. <laughs> You get your nigga wake up call, don't come back to the community because we don't want you. So on that note, you guys, thanks again for listening. I hope you guys have a great day. Like I said before, if they're talking black, sleeping white, kick rocks because we don't need you. Have a great day.